it's uh, finally, finally warm enough to get back outside and um, do some spray painting. Uh, I've set up a little, little area down there for me to work on. Uh, got some canvases, got all my gear, and um, I think we're just gonna have have a good time with it. <sighs> Hello, welcome to um, the the voiceover, I suppose, is what this is. Um, yeah, so today it. It was very lovely and warm outside, so um, I set up my little back deck studio thing that I had going in the uh, autumn that obviously I couldn't do during winter because it rained all of the time, uh, which is good, but not really conducive with cardboard and paints and that kind of thing. So. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited to to get back out there and keep being creative with all of these fun different mediums. Uh, spray paint, pastel, acrylic, um, I put Red Bull on it at one point there, uh, permanent marker, all sorts of things. Um, and yeah, I didn't really have any plans going into what I was making today. Uh, I just went with the floor, man, you know, had some fun, um, most of it was on cardboard, I did two pieces on canvases, just cause I've had some canvases lying around for a while, and, and I should really use them, because, um, you know, cardboard is fun and all, but canvases are more of a real deal, kind of art situation. So here's the first canvas here. Um, obviously cardboard is totally fine. Uh, I love working on it. It's a lot of fun. It's very cheap slash free. Um, and I, I like the texture and, and the, yeah, just the materiality of it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and it's a lot less, there's a lot less pressure I feel when working on cardboard than when working on like a big canvas like this, for example. Um, yeah, but I've, I've been focused a lot on um, colors and big, bold, exciting, energetic sort of shapes and swirls and lines and, and squares and all sorts of things. Um, oh my goodness, you can see in the corner there's some chickens walking around it's adorable <laughs> um we have six of them now uh it's a little hectic but i mean they're cute sometimes they bite but you know at least they don't have teeth that would be terrifying um so yeah here i'm, I'm using acrylic pastel all sorts of things um, I don't really know what this was or what it turned into or anything about it really. I just sort of did what I wanted and this is what happened and it looks a little bit like I was on something while doing it. I guess I was on Red Bull. Does that count? Or sp spray paint fumes? I've been wearing my, um, my pandemic mask <laughs> for when I'm spray painting. I don't know if that's as effective as a spray paint mask, but it's kind of the best thing I've got. So that's a sign of the times. Um, yeah. How have you all been? I've been doing pretty well. I've been a little bit up and down, but I mean, it's 2020. What can you do? Um, been fun to be back at uni. I had a, a little one week break, um, and now we're into the final five or six weeks, um, and then it'll be summer, which is cool. Very excited to uh, go swimming and, and chill at the beach and that kind of thing. There's a uh, geocache under the Bowen Heads Bridge that you can only swim to, 
and I'm waiting for it to be hot enough <laughs> for me to uh, brave the water. Um, yeah, I've been geocaching a lot lately. Uh, it's it's a way to trick myself into getting outside and walking around, because um, I am by nature a very lazy person, which is fine, but you know, sometimes vitamin D is good. Um, here I'm moving on to just some quicker ones, some looser sort of spray paint stuff. Again, not really thinking about it at all just going for it um, and then coming back in with pastel afterwards I've been really enjoying the um, the primary colors sort of color sch scheme of like red and blue and yellow I, that's it's just quite satisfying to me I enjoy it um, but yeah these these cardboard things um, didn't put too much time or effort in just did a little bit of loose ex experimenting I suppose um, but I have oh my goodness you guys I have so much cardboard in my room it's a little bit crazy um, it's like two brute folds um, plus a big TV box and some other stuff it's it's yeah it's uh, it's a lot but it's good because now I have no excuse for not making stuff because I have so many things to work on. Um, here I'm moving on to more of a sort of weird portrait thing. I'm using the uh, palette knife here and um, doing sort of a Ben Quilty kind of smushing it around and hoping for the best. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm currently using a palette knife. Uh, you will see at one point in the video, I break my pellet knife quite dramatically. I'm not sure if you can really see, but I like, I'm trying to wipe it off and then it snaps and flies like shrapnel into my face and it's, it's very dramatic. Um, and a little bit sad because it's kind of my only pellet knife, but whatever. Yeah, th there you can see the pellet knife handle without the knife on it. So I switched to a brush. Um, I feel like with this kind of thing, like wet on wet painting, brushes can really muddy it up real fast, which I don't love. Um, but I think this turned out alright in the end. Um, you will know if you know my art that I'm not really a uh, portrait painter, but I do like to try from time to time to just see what happens and um, give it a go because that's what art is you know you just try things and um, see what happens um, I've been really liking the um, texture of pastel um, mixed with acrylic like side by side like the smoothness and then the roughness of the pastel um, yeah, so here are all the finished works. So this was one day of just messing around out the back. Um, I'm hoping that the weather stays nice and I can keep doing this because I've been having a lot of fun. Um, it's just, oh, it's so much fun, it's so much fun. You should paint. I don't, I don't really care who you are. You should, you should find your nearest paint thing and your nearest paper thing and smush them together and see what happens um yeah thanks for watching i'll see you later